Okay, so welcome back to Heretic Wargaming. So today we are filming in my wonderful kitchen, and I have set up the table. Now, a shout, special shout out goes to my local store, Hobby Chest. Uh, Dan over there allowed me to borrow some terrain because my terrain has yet to arrive. Um, so yeah, I'm borrowing terrain from Dan's store. So it is kind of a hodgepodge. I, I try to pick out some some ruins. Uh, these trees right here are, I recently bought. I'm actually gonna make some hills with trees. So these are gonna be forests. Um, you know, uh, me, me and my opponents will discuss what the different terrain is and how they want to actually play it, but we have a great table. Um, so I'm waiting on my opponent, so I can't show you guys who it is yet, but today we are playing battle lines from grand tournament 2020 mission book. Um, and so in this mission, there are four objectives Two are, uh, 14 inches. Yeah. 14 inches from the middle this way and 18 inches from either side there and there. So because I am waiting on my opponent, which I believe he's bringing Grey Knights, stay tuned, uh, I guess I will go ahead and show you guys this army. Now I did promise that I would play this. So this is Sam Lucidi's army from our Chaos Chat. Uh, almost verbatim, the only thing was I took out one Death Shroud to actually put spitters on the three uh, PPCs because he said that you could do it that way. And... I like the spitters. So, um, I didn't actually put down how many points it was. Uh, I probably should have, but I, Battle Scribe's points for Death Shroud are actually wrong because they're supposed to be 47 points apiece. So, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and cover it. So it's a Supreme Command of one Mortarian. Yeah, Mortarian. Um, and then we also have a Patrol Detachment. We'll go ahead and cover that real quick. So the Patrol Detachment is actually um, Mortarian's Chosen. And so that consists of a uh, malignant plague caster, a surgeon who will be upgraded to the super surgeon for one CP, five death shroud terminators, a biologic biologus putrefier um, with a drill, and ten plague marines. Nothing special. Now I'm pretty sure I have points to actually uh, uh, put some like a flail in there, but eh, whatever. And a foul blight spawn. Which I think that's uh, one too many elites. So the Foul Blight spawn could actually be Poxmongers and still go inside of that. But anyways, uh, we'll figure that out. Um, is it one too many elites? I think it might be. Anyways, <laughs> if I'm playing this wrong, you guys let me know. Uh, I'm actually trying to rush. I had to set this all up because uh, my buddy uh, has some stuff going on. And then we have a Spearhead Detachment of this guy. It's not Typhus. <laughs> Today I'm actually playing as a Lord of uh, Contagion. He's painted up, so I figured I'd go ahead and use him. And three PBCs. Actually, it is one too many elites. So he will actually be part of the Poxmongers, which means he can't go in the drill, but he can wander around with the PBCs up the field. So it gives me like a good anti-charge bubble or something like that. But anyways, this is 2,000 points. 2,000 points. On the nose. Um, so yeah, we're going to spend one CP to upgrade him uh, to the, the special duder. Um, we're also going to spend one CP to make that a contaminated monstrosity. Because why not? Having feel no pain on that should be pretty amazing. So I believe this list, uh, so he refunds the two for the patrol. So we spend three, four, five CP before the game. So I start with seven CP. Not bad, actually, when you consider really all the CP I'm going to be using is with those guys. Yeah, but we'll see what happens against my opponent, who I believe will be Grey Knights. All right, everyone, here is 2,000 points of Grey Knights. Grey Knights. Yeah. Um, so to start off with the headquarters, we're going to have Grandmaster Volus and Lord Calor Drago. Uh, two other name, uh, well, characters will be the Apothecary and the Ancient Carrying the Banner. Then we're going to have two squads of five man paladins and then one squad of seven man paladins and then it's going to be one squad of ten strike squad and then two squads of five man strike squad and that's it that's two thousand points of gray knights so i don't forget for oh. for the spells that i throw out so like hammer okay. and whatnot so sweet it's hard to keep track hell yeah man <laughs> i gotta get more of them now <laughs> all right so thomas hi thomas Going, so it's Thomas again. Uh, that was the voice in the beginning of the game. I know I didn't get uh, him on camera. Um, so we have deployed. Yes, I know. We showed our armies and then we deployed. Um, so over here on the Grey Knight side, he's got his 10-man uh, strike squad here. So we're basically counting this building as like a giant block here. I know it's like cut off, but um, just to keep it fair because that one's blocky, right? So uh, these guys are basically obscured behind this building here. Um, this is a five-man uh, squad with Drago right there. 
In the back here, he's got a five-man strike squad. Over here, he's got five paladins along with his apothecary. And where's the uh, other guy, Voldus? Voldus is saying not. He's got the one. Oh, player. apothecary's over there. Um, Voldus is back here with five dudes and uh, some some paladins. And then over there, we've got the apothecary with the big unit of paladins. Um, and an ancient. Yeah, yeah, and the ancient. Um, and then over here on the death guard side, so obviously I deep struck the drill. Uh, it's got my malignant plague caster, my plague marines, and uh, the bomb dude inside of there. But over here, I basically clumped up all the PVCs around their four invulnerable buddy. And then we got death shroud with mortar iron. Now, as far as um, secondaries go, so we both picked the, picked the mission secondary, which is uh, hold vital ground. So that's two points for holding either of these objectives. Four points if you hold both. And three points if you hold your opponents, which he's in a lot better of a position because of his teleporting shenanigans than I am, but uh, I feel pretty confident on trying to combat him off these two. And I took Assassinate because he got a bunch of characters and engage on all fronts. And he took Bring It Down, which is good because I got PPCs. Um, <laughs> and Line Breaker because he can do teleporty things. So that being said, maybe I should have taken Line Breaker. Oh well. Um, that being said, we got to do the magic roll off to see who goes first. Are you ready for this, Thomas? I'm ready. I think he's ready. All right. Are you using your heretic dice too? Oh yeah. Heretic dice, go! I got a five. He got a two. Okay. I think I want to go first. Oh, thank you. He thanked me. I don't want to go first. I already said it. <laughs> All right. Well, we would shake hands, so we'll just air shake on this, um, and we'll move into Death Guards. Turn one. Exciting. Exciting. We're wearing masks. Um, <laughs> so, uh, it was the first turn. I, I don't know what to say. I killed a strike dude. So, Ooh. <laughs> hey, hopefully I do more in turn two. <laughs> So the end of Death Guard turn one, nothing happened. <laughs> Literally, uh, I got some spells off, but she couldn't deny. Uh, one thing, and you guys probably noticed, uh, I'll probably edit it out, but um, we were just confused as to, I, I know he gets an army wide plus one to cast and denies. Um, he thought he got like plus two on the characters and stuff, so we were trying to figure that all out. So um, we figured it out though. <laughs> plus one for everybody. That's, yep. that's what he gets. Um, but that being said, uh, I advanced the PVC up. He is just barely touching this objective here. This PVC moved up. Oh, uh, shooting phase. I gotta actually shoot him, so we'll do that. Um, this one advanced, that one advanced, he advanced. Basically everything advanced. So uh, all I have to do is shoot this. So I'll let you know what I maybe kill. Uh, yeah, because he can't actually see anything. Um, and that's about it. I didn't get any points. Even if I kill something, it's not actually going to give me any points. So we're going to move on to Grey Knights after I'm done shooting. <laughs> there we go. Now we're recording. Awesome. <laughs> um, so starting off, I just one. Now that I'm glad that I know the rule for the Gate of Infinity and how many times I can actually use that spell per turn. It's just super important because it changes the way I'm playing. It's not stopping me for anything. It's just I know what I need to do per turns and where I need to... What's important, what's not to cast, what's to cast. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is he's secretly mobile as a Death Guard, and that scares me because I'm just as mobile as he may actually. There's some things he's not going to really fight with, for me for, but there are definitely objectives that I know he's going for, and uh, he's going to hit hard if I get close to him, and that's what I need to do. So that's kind of my mindset right now is I need to strategically pick who I'm going to go for first. So I don't get guys who are wasted and uh, didn't contribute anything. That's about it. All right, the end of the uh, Grey Knights, turn one. Uh, so it was kind of underwhelming as well. Um, he cast Astral Aim and uh, some armor power on these dudes. Um, beyond that, he doesn't actually have a brother captain, so all the smites are relegated to 12 inch range. Um, he did not know that you actually can only cast a power once per phase other than smite. So um, I asked if he wanted to like shift anything around. He said, oh, nope, I, I got it. <laughs> make, make mistakes, live with them. Uh, but he did teleport uh, the five man paladins behind that building there. Can't see them. Uh, there's hiding out back there. He advanced those paladins up the board there, uh, basically holding that objective there because uh, it's, you know, vital ground. And yeah, I think that was about it. Um, both of us had very underwhelming turn ones, so <laughs> uh, super underwhelming as a matter of fact. 
But, so he doesn't get line breaker until he gets his second squad behind my lines, which is going to be next turn. Because uh, I really, we talked about it, I really have no way to really stop him. So um, I think he's going to max that secondary because uh, I'm not really going to go that way to deal with some paladins or something. Um, but on the beginning of my turn, uh, so I actually hold two objectives, which gives me, what, 10 points? Uh, additional two, isn't it, for that one? Uh, two or more objectives. Yep, so uh, it's 10 points for that. Uh, for the primary. And then vital uh, objective, I hold this one and he holds that one, so I get two points for that. So, let's move on to Death Guards. Turn two. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Um, yeah, no, it was actually a really good turn. Uh, this game, the drill actually did what it was supposed to. Uh, last game, it didn't even kill one exorcist, so this time I definitely made up uh, for that faux pas. Um, on top of that, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm in a good position. Now, he does have a lot of movement shenanigans. And on top of it, all of his smites uh, do a flat 3 damage, uh, assuming he doesn't move into the tide where he does 4 damage. So, we'll have to see uh, what Thomas ends up doing. But um, I'm feeling really good going into the next turn. We'll see. Uh, I could just be a false sense of security. So, uh, <laughs> let's see what the Grey Knights have in store. All right, so the end of Death Guard's turn two. The Drillception! That one's for you, Jake. Uh, Drillception came in, uh, wiped out actually the uh, Banner Dude and this entire Strike Squad with the grenades. So, yay! Um, so yeah, they did really, really well. The Drill actually picked off one Paladin, the one Warding Stave over here, uh, failed his charge into these three strikes. Um, I actually finished up the strike squads between the mortars, the random mortar shots there in the middle, and a random slugger shot actually took care of another. Uh, so there's three strikes there, four paladins, so very slowly, and I've gotten rid of all the middle here and the, uh, there. Over here, uh, Mortarian Advanced basically is right in front of these uh, Death Shroud, and then I went ahead and popped uh, Cloud of Flies on the Death Shroud, so um, that way that stuff over there cannot shoot at these. Now, Unless they teleport or whatever and do crazy uh, Grey Knight stuff. But it was a good turn for the Death Guard. Uh, basically cleared out the middle, uh, getting rid of troops very slowly. But that turn, uh, we scored an assassinate point. We got engaged on all fronts because uh, I'm this PVC is just out of this quarter, so I didn't get all four quarters this time. Um, I do have a character back in that quarter. Obviously, I've got a few things here, and then all those dudes dropped in over there. So... Let's move on to Grey Knight's turn two. What's up, Thomas? All right, guys. Um, pretty good turn. Um, main priority was making sure that uh, Mortarian's kind of locked up. I know he's probably going to wipe the Paladins, but at least maybe I can get some hits going in on him before they die. Um, getting that denied on that uh, um, teleporting uh, Voldus to the back is kind of a big deal because I probably would be ahead of points right now if I would have gotten that off. So the deny was kind of pain in the butt. However, I'm glad that drills out of the way, and uh, I'm in combat with some space marines at the back, so they won't be smacking strike squads as hard. And uh, now I think it's just uh, to play off the wrong game, get out some of these points, and clear some things out. Um, and Mortarian has to die. So. No. Okay, so the end of the uh, good old guys, the Grey Knights. <laughs> so uh, we had a big faux pas over here. Uh, he attempted to Gate of Infinity Voldus to go back there with his paladins, and I denied it. Yeah, good job. Uh, but I was able to actually deny that, so Voldus is actually stuck back here. Is that paladin? Oh, no, that's the apothecary. <laughs> Um, these guys shifted up to hold that objective. Uh, these guys shifted up to basically just do nothing because that's what they did. Over here, though, these paladins, along with Drago, uh, made a charge into the drill there and into the plague marines. Killed six of the plague marines and killed the drill. Straight out, he did actually, the apothecary brought one of those paladins back, so there's five now. 
Over here, his paladins made the charge into Mortarian between storm bolters and some smites and some other things. Uh, actually knocked um, seven wounds off of Mortarian and killed two of the Death Shroud, the one right there, and then there was another one three inches behind him uh, right there. Um, everybody's past morale. Th these guys can't fail, so. And then um, these guys shot there and did nothing to Death Shroud. So. <laughs> yeah! But it's a really close game right now. Uh, I am only ahead by one point. But we go into my turn. Uh, so I hold this objective and that objective still. So I get uh, 10 points. And two for my vital ground. Two. And another 10. And we will go into Death Guard's turn. Three, Thomas. Are you ready? Let's yeah, do let's do it. <laughs> Good turn! Mortarian is still alive, so... Yet. Yeah. Oh wait, I forgot I have a, a guy back there. I have him. a plague surgeon alive! Um, <laughs> but yeah, sorry, I'm like, ah, stuff's alive! Um, no, that was a really good turn. I, I'm really happy with it. Um, I've basically eliminated a lot of Thomas's ability to control the field now. Uh, he's got one strike left. He's got a total of seven paladins um, and a bunch of characters, right? So at this point, uh, I know he's gonna like teleport some dudes behind the lines if he if he still has ability ability to um, to get linebreaker. But I feel pretty good uh, about where the game stands right now. I, I think that at this point I could probably ride it out through the end. But we'll see. Um, he does do damage bazillion smites to Mortarian, so uh, there's a good chance I might actually lose him in this next couple turns. We'll see though. I'm hoping he doesn't die. But we'll move on to his turn four. All right, so the end of Death Guard's turn three. Uh, sh shifted up all three PBCs. This one eliminated the squad with his flamers. Uh, mortars and sluggers failed to kill this very last dude, and this flamer right here actually rolled really low and uh, could not secure that squad, so there's one guy left, sadly. Over here, though, I got cheeky. Uh, I went ahead, smited. Uh, actually got it off <laughs> on a five, oddly enough. Um, did two damage to one paladin, and then I failed my second power on the Melodic Plague Caster, re-rolled it, using my CP reroll, got a seven, which actually killed one model in the squad. Yeah, I know, he's like over there like, uh, whatever. Uh, and then over here, the Death Shroud made their charge uh, over here, killed the rest of the Paladins, he used a stratagem so that they could fight uh, if they never were chosen to fight, basically fight and death, there you go. Um, he was able to actually kill one more Death Shroud uh, thanks to shrugging off wounds. He doesn't like it. He plays Tau, and I told him, this is what it's like fighting Payback. shield drones. It's, Payback. It's, it's payback for those. I get after fighting <laughs> for 20 years. Dirty fish people. <laughs> um, and then over here, uh, my, my Foul Blight Spawn flamered into these dudes. Uh, they did use Transhuman, but I got lucky with the wounds and actually killed two of them. So, yeah, pretty good. I used Foul Gush, finally. Yeah, it's fun to say. Um, but that being said, uh, I scored two more points, or three points for uh, Engage on All Fronts, because those guys are still in that quarter. This PBC is moved up here. This guy's still hanging out back here. And that guy's hanging out back there. But I have left that exposed now. So now he can start getting vital points for it. But now I've got that one. So I'm, I don't know, it was a trade. Um, but that being said, we'll move on to Grey Knight's turn three. Yep. Hi there. Hi. Uh... <laughs> been an interesting game, I could say the least. Um, I'm glad that my guys have been hitting hard. Um, that's one of the things I was worried about, um, was how hard they were going to hit, especially with the how tough Death Guard can be. But they are killing some stuff, they're getting on objectives, and that's the important thing, is that they're getting on objectives. And uh, now it's trying to see if we can drop Morty and uh, hold out on the objectives. Yeah!
So the end of Great Knight's turn uh, three. Uh, so I got hit really damn hard. Uh, he cleared out the rest of the Plague Marines. He killed the Malignant Plague Playcaster there in the back. Now over here, um, he did Edict Imperator and used a stratagem to do like the extra uh, AP1 on the Bolters and Strength 5. And he actually made a charge with uh, Valdor <laughs> without a reroll uh, at 9. Clobbered my Foul Blight Spawn. Now, I had 2 CP left. I could have done all the craziness to basically Overwatch uh, Valdor. I should have. Uh, I rolled it out afterwards. I would have been Strength 11 and 5 shots. Good chance I would have actually killed him. But, yeah, live and learn, right? Um... Made his charge, wiped him out uh, clean, and that was about it. Um, so he did score some line breaker points. Uh, he didn't score any more bring it down because these are untouched and Mortarian is still alive. Um, so at the beginning of my turn, uh, I actually score these two objectives. So that's another 10 points and another four for my vital objective um, because I hold the two in the middle. So four and 10. So pretty looking pretty good for the Death Guard, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see if the guys from Titan can hold me off. Six, six, six. Ahoy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mortarian, he's lived to turn four. I don't think this has literally ever happened in any game of 40k ever for me, anyway. <laughs> um, I'm really happy with this performance, but uh, you know, failing the spell was really hurt. Um, not being able to proc Death of the False Emperor on the, the one guy, uh, leaving the one Thunderhammer alive really sucked. I'm going to be able to scoop him this turn and hold that objective, but it's just the fact that he's going to kill Mortarian and probably in the exchange, and it's not... I wanted Mortarian to live. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> he's a Primark. But um, at this point, though, I feel really confident. I, I think I've pretty much got the game wrapped up. But uh, we'll see what uh, Thomas can pull off. I know that he's still learning his army, and he, he just wants to see what can happen. So... Uh, yeah, let's move on to his turn four. All right, so the end of the Death Guard's turn four. Uh, so Mortarian has come over here and slayed Valdor uh, with his mighty scythe. Now, it really sucked. All of my procs for Death of the False Emperor were against Valdor and not the squad, and he popped the 2CP strat that if he dies uh, and hasn't been chosen to fight, he swings back. So it really sucked because I was just one shy of killing the other Thunderhammer guy. Um, killed Valdor... Got hit back, and then the other Thunderhammer put me at one wound. So, super close. Uh, but Morty and the, the Surgeon are actually holding that objective now. Over here, killed the last strike dude. And I bombed that guy, and he made a bunch of Forp saves. So, <laughs> I was trying to secure another assassination point. But, that was a good turn for Death Guard, because at this point, I'm on all four objectives. Um, he has absolutely no way to actually get over to this one, so I'm at, at least holding that one. Um, and he's got the Thunder Hammer that might kill Mortarian. He'll have enough CP to actually uh, swing on death, so I might actually lose Mortarian. But he gets nothing for the primary. Mm -hmm. Boom, which was actually a big, big deal. Mm -hmm. um, I've killed Valdor, so he can't get Line Breaker now. That, I think, broke the back of the game. I think I have now won. But uh, I know you want to finish it out, right? Yeah. We'll we have already already made it to this point. We're learning. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Move on to his turn four. All right. So, the end of the game. Uh, we basically caught it on this turn. Uh, quick recap. Uh, he smited Morty to death. You son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he smited Morty. Morty died. And Morty blew up and killed the last damn paladin. Yeah, screw that guy. Um, so, yeah. He died. Uh, now, I'm holding that objective. I'm holding this objective. Over here, he couldn't make his charge, uh, so I'm holding that objective. And there, the Paladins, even with the reroll, couldn't make their charge there. And they really couldn't see anything to shoot. And he killed the last dude over there. So we could play it out to where I see if I kill a character, but it doesn't at this point, it doesn't matter. I'd get 15 for primary. Um, I actually, yeah, I'd be maxed on primary, mm -hmm. and just the score is run away. So... <laughs> That being said, what'd you think of the game, buddy? It's fantastic. Let me um, move over here. Boop, 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 boop. That's a learning point, I think, for me. And even though I was coming into this thinking, like, oh, great knights, they do great against demons, you still have to kind of pay attention more to, uh, even, like, off the bat, I, I probably should have put some more of them in the teleportarium. Um, but other than that, it was a lot of fun. I think that it's been a huge learning point, too, and just how my army works and uh, what I need to watch out for, too. Yeah, well, hopefully, I know you're going to the store tomorrow to play some games, so hopefully yep. it'll help you out, man. Oh, yeah. 
Are you enjoying Grey Knights more than Tau? I am enjoying Grey Knights more than Tau. Yes! I will say that. Thank God. I hate dirty fish people. Uh, so, air shake. Yeah. All right. So, no, great game, Thomas. And I hope you guys really enjoyed watching Mortarian kill Silver Guys. I enjoyed it. So, <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next battle report here at Heritage Core Gaming.